All right guys, welcome to the latest video and this one is going to be interesting because we are going to build something that people think is difficult but in reality it isn't. So we are going to build a search bar of sorts like this where we have the search icon on the front and then this uh, input where you could type. So to build this, first I just have this basic setup going just a CDN link over here and then some base classes on the body. After that. Our first step is to create a parent div and then grab the icon from heroicons.dev. This is a, uh, a collection of icons by the creator of Tailwind CSS, Adam Vaden, and these are amazing icons. You just need to click on the icon to copy the SVG and I just did that, it said copied and I pasted it in here. Alright, so now we have that icon. I know it's not sized correctly but we'll get to it. Then we have this little input with it. Cool. So, first step now should be to size the icon correctly. If I can type correctly, that is. Alright. Now, so to get these in the same line, sort of position correctly because this icon needs to be over here. What we can say is div class relative. So, we are just giving the parent div a class uh, a position of relative through the class relative that's what that class does and as you guys could guess the class absolute just gives the sort uh, this icon basically a position of absolute and then we can say left zero cool all right so now that we have that uh, let me just give this a placeholder so you guys will uh, understand why we are doing it the way we are doing it we are saying search, 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 three ellipses. Cool. So the icon interface with the type. Now what you can do is to uh, position this input correctly. As you can see, we have a height and width of five. So if you say margin left six, this is sort of positioned correctly now. Right now, this doesn't seem like a part of a one component. These, seems, these seem like a different thing. But that is because we haven't styled it correctly right now. So, my next step would be to give this a background. The whole parent div. And to give the input basically a background of transparent. Alright, this already is looking better. Not ideal, but at least this looks like the same thing. Alright, so after that, you might want to give this a bit of padding. P4 is too much. Let's try P2. P1. And then, to place the icon correctly, you can say margin left 2. Or let's say 1. Right, and let's see how close we are to the thing we actually want. Yeah, so pretty close, I would say. Just to zoom out a bit. All right, our next step should be giving this the right text color that should be somewhere around text gray 300. Yeah, all right, and I need to fix the padding over here, it doesn't look right in my opinion. So let's give it a px2 uh, py1 py2. Yeah. Alright, this looks better. So we'll have to increase the margin on the icon as well. Margin left. So that it's better aligned. Cool. Now uh, I really like slightly rounded corners so we can just give this a class of rounded and as you can see I was tweaking around with the padding so I was changing the padding for px and py and for both of them it's just two units so to say that we can just say p2 and it won't make a difference now the next thing that we can do is give this a bit of a border so we give, we're giving it a border of two pixels and we can specify the color like this so, in my opinion, this is pretty close to this. Yeah. So, I think we're done with this search bar component now. So, to just to recap for a second, 
the only trick that you need to see was uh, the parent container needs to be uh, relatively positioned so that uh, on the SVG icon, on the icon, SVG or not, we can position it uh, abs with absolutely and give it a left of zero. So it's at the left most edge of the parent. And then we give it a little bit of margin too. If we don't have this margin, this looks too disjointed from the uh, uh, search bar basically because the padding is being applied on the search bar, but not on the SVG because it's absolutely positioned. It doesn't matter. It doesn't care for padding on the parent container. So we give it M a little bit of margin to space it correctly. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you found it useful, just let me know in the comments and drop a like.